We have two lights. We are finally evenly lit in the background. <laughs> yes. Hey, my name is Ivy and welcome to my channel or welcome for the first time if you are new here. Today is going to be a look using the custom palette that I built for my getting into single shadows video. I hope that you had a chance to watch that video. If you didn't, don't worry. I'm going to link it down below so you can check it out. But it's basically an intro guide to getting into indie shadows and how to get started and what to do. And I thought a fun follow-up to that would be showing you how I'm using that small custom palette that I built in that video. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, then definitely keep on watching and let's get into it. Okay, so first thing I'm doing, I've already done my brows and I've done my moisturizer, is I'm gonna be putting on this Innisfree SPF. I talked about this in my last Get Ready With Me video. I'm loving it and I'm also just trying to be really good about putting on SPF every day because I do get, I'm guilty of getting lax in the winter and not necessarily putting it on every day. I feel like when I'm inside all day long and I'm not really getting any sun that it's just an extra step <laughs> that I don't necessarily want to take. But of course, in the summertime, I want to make sure that I'm being really good about applying it regularly. So this has made it really easy to do that. It's just quick and easy to apply, instantly sinks into the skin. I love the finish and it feels like I'm just putting on a nice moisturizer. Like I don't really have to think about it. So for me, that's Perfect, that's exactly what I want. Today, I think for base, I'm going to go back to using my Ordinary Coverage Foundation. This is in the shade 1.2 Light Neutral. Really been enjoying using this. I'm super glad I picked it up before the line kind of went totally gone. And recently, I actually tried applying it with this, which is a, a little brush that came with my Merit Perfecting Foundation Stick. And it has such a beautiful, almost like sponge-like texture because it's so densely bristled that it applies this particular foundation super beautifully. I just really like the finish of it. I like it and I really like the texture. It's a very lightweight, medium coverage, very buildable foundation. And I just, I'm really, I'm still super sad that this line is going away because I think that it is such good value for money. I guess they weren't making enough on it and probably cost them more to make it. So, and I didn't hear enough people talking about this. Um, I'm not surprised that it's just not, it's just not a top performer for them, but it, it is a shame. I think today I'm gonna use my um, Guerlain. Do I, is that what it's called? No, Givenchy. I make this mistake every time I talk about this, this freaking concealer. I don't know why I keep having that in my head. It's Givenchy and it's just the Prism Libre Skin Caring Concealer. I have the shade W110. Um, this again, I think is a decent shade match for me, but probably maybe a smidge yellow. I definitely have yellow in my skin. So if I have a choice between pink and yellow, I go yellow, but neutral is what I like best. So if a, if a brand has like a neutral undertones option, that's always what I go for. And those typically have just like a better balance of pink and red for me. I probably should have noted that what I just did by, by putting this kind of all over my face is not actually what I would recommend because you should use this concealer in sections. It does kind of start to dry down and then it becomes harder to spread out and work with. So generally I don't do what I just did. I just wasn't thinking about it enough. I will put it under one eye, blend it out, put it in another location, blend it out, etc. But yeah, I just wasn't thinking about it. So <laughs> other than that, I honestly have no qualms about the concealer. I really enjoy it. It feels good, it looks good. For my kind of skincare routine, it's perfect. It's like the ideal texture for me. Now we're gonna get into the star of the moment, the palette that I made. So just as a reminder, this is the palette that I created and it is loosely inspired by the palette that just came out but sold out, which was in combination with the Mob Beauty and the makeup artist Jessica Hayes. It's inspired by that. It's not a total, it's not like a, a real dupe. The other thing about that palette is it's technically a all over face palette. Like there are cream shades in there that you can use for, 
your face, not just your eyes. And this is just a straight, I just made an eyeshadow palette. I didn't try to make a face palette. There were just some combinations of colors in there that I loved and I thought were really nice together that I wanted to take inspiration from to build this palette. There is, I think in this one, a nice combination of some sparkly shades some special shades and then some kind of grungy mattes that do start to get like a little brighter, you know, like that kind of yellow and that chartreuse green, you know, they definitely give you some, some pops of color. I haven't quite figured out what I wanna do today. I don't wanna go too crazy or too heavy. I mean, I feel like I always say that and then I go heavier than I planned, but I think I wanna play more on this half of the palette. So maybe some of that red and yellow and then pick one of the special shades, maybe Crown Flash, which is by Seeking Shifts and Shine by SD. Maybe I'll play with that and see where we go. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so we can get a little bit deeper into my eyes. Zoomed in we are. So I'm going in with that kind of magenta shade, which is, I don't remember which palette, but I depotted it from a ColourPop palette that I had, which I decided I didn't wanna keep the majority of the shades from, but I did wanna keep some. So I opted to keep this one because I realized I didn't, at present have any other singles that sort of live in this color. I don't wear a lot of this kind of color. I don't tend to wear a lot of red. I will say that I've seen so many looks recently that utilize sexy red eyeshadow that I love. So I want to start trying to do my own, more, more of my own red looks because I really do think it looks tight. <laughs> And then I'm gonna bring that also down under my eye a little bit as well. Kind of just create a whole corner of magenta. The good thing about trying to dupe out a palette before you get it is that it gives you an opportunity to really go through your collection and see, well, do I actually have shades that are like that? Maybe I just think I do, maybe I don't. You know, I just think that trying to dupe out a palette before you buy it is a really good exercise to get into the habit of doing. Not that you have to do it every time, I'm not saying it's not homework, it should be fun, <laughs> but I do think it's a helpful it's a helpful thing to do more regularly and i'm trying to get into the habit of doing that a little bit more i'm going to tap into the that like big square yellow pan i think this is from a high live palette that i had that's a brand that doesn't exist anymore it was like a small eyeshadow brand that started as Musee Beauty. I don't know if you guys remember or saw them and then they um, rebranded and became Kylev Beauty and then they announced that they were just no longer going to be a brand because I think the people that started it decided they wanted to just do other things. I found the palettes that I got from them not not bad. I mean, you know, I wouldn't say I was I was like floored by them. I mean, some of them were maybe a little underwhelming, but the color stories were really pretty. And um, I think I ended up with two palettes from them and I ended up deciding to just break them up into singles. Felt like I would get more use out of them that way. And I definitely have, like I feel as though I reach for the shades that I love from them a lot more as singles than I ever reached for the palettes themselves. Okay, now I have to decide if I want to use Radar, which is a very sheer and beautiful special shade from Shine by SD, or Crown Flash, which is also a Shine by SD shade um, in collab with Riley from Seeking Shifts. They're both beautiful. They're very different. Ooh, and I don't know. I feel like if I put on Crown Flash, it's going to totally take over the look. I think I'm gonna use Radar. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna try it on my finger and I'm gonna tap it over the yellow. And we're just gonna see how this looks on the top of the look. And you know what, if it's not, if it's not doing enough for me, then I will go back and I'll just do Crown Flash on top of that. It is really pretty, but it's definitely, I don't even know if you can see it on camera. It's not, it's not doing enough. So I do think I'm gonna mix in some Crown Flash. All right, well, you know what? This is an experiment. <laughs> so we're gonna take Crown Flash. So this is Radar on my finger, and then this is Crown Flash. Yeah, so this is Radar, and then this is Crown Flash. I think Crown Flash is coming up very cool toned. It's actually, it's like a very spicy neutral. It has kind of this beigey base. It's a very small particle glitter very, you know, on the drier formula side, which I like because it makes it for, for a very PC glitter look. 
and it has some spicy reds in it and I really like it. So I'm just gonna tap that on top all the way from my corner and then kind of fade it over my matte shades. So that's definitely showing up more. It's also getting glitter all over my face. Yeah, that's cool. Again, that's the fun part about experimenting. Just going back in with a little more of that red. This is the fun part about experimenting with color stories too is, you know, I saw that Jessica Hayes palette and I was like, ooh, I really like that. And I might have bought it or I might've considered buying it if it hadn't sold out. But now that I'm playing around with some of these shades myself, it might change my mind. I might be like, well, you know, it looks cool. I'm attracted to it, but how do I actually feel about it on my eyes? Building a singles collection and practicing duping out palettes is just really helpful. I think it, honestly, it will end up saving you a lot of money in the long run. Okay, I actually have a, I have a Dandelions shade in here called, I think it's Apple Butter that I'm, it's a very beigey neutral shade that I'm just gonna sweep over the top of this to think about liner. What do I want to do for liner? Oh, you know what? Oh yes, here it is. I think this will look really, really pretty with this look. So let's try layering it. I'm just gonna layer it in the kind of, in the corner, not gonna go too far down my lid and give myself a little bit more depth and a little bit more of a wing. Just a little one, just a baby wing. And then let me get a liner brush, kind of pull that out. That is the nice thing about these 1999 Beauty liners is they're extremely easy to manipulate. Yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty, I'm gonna go and do my other eye, get it to match as much as I can, and then we'll put on some mascara and finish up the face. But I think this is like a fun experiment and it's also colors that I don't normally pair together. So I think it's cool. Let's, let's finish up the other eye and then figure out the rest of our makeup. Okay, so I did my other eye and I think I did a decent job getting them to match up. That's always questionable. And I am just putting on some mascara. Today I am using my remaining Marc Jacobs Beauty at Lashed mascara. I've had this for a while and I, I, know, I know that you're supposed to stop using mascaras after like three months. I don't really follow that rule. I know a lot of people do. Most mascaras will dry out in that time frame anyway, or a lot of them will. So, you know, sometimes you're you're not using them because they're not usable, but this one is still going strong and I love how it looks. And I, I really, really hope, I talked about this in another video, that Marc Jacobs Beauty comes back because I found a lot of their products to be really good, especially this mascara. Not bad, not bad. I think I'm gonna use my Make Beauty New Moon blush today. This is one of my favorite shades that I was gifted from the brand. I think it's also Carrie Barber's favorite shade. I know, I know she said she loves New Moon and I love New Moon too. And it's this color, which is just beautiful. Big blush brush to start light. I feel like this will go well with the kind of tones of that red in the corner of the eyes without being too matchy-matchy, which I also don't always like with my makeup. By the way, do you notice two lights instead of just one? Not awkwardly only half lit now in the back. I do have plans to put up something behind me, but the issue is that, you know, you'll end up seeing like half of a picture in back of me. I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to put something back there. I just haven't figured out what yet, so more of a background is coming. I'm going a little heavy on the blush, not going to lie, but I might go over the top with some kind of neutralizing powder just to just to make sure I don't look too blushy. Question now becomes, what do I want to put on my lips? Okay, I think for lips today, I'm going to use one of my Say Beauty lip blurs. These are incredibly pigmented matte lipsticks. They are really pretty. I really like the formula. I do find though that for most days when I put it on, my best method of application is to make sure that I have a little bit of lip balm on my lips already. Not like a ton. I don't want to make it glossy, but just give me, it gives me a little more slip 
Um, and then I kind of use my finger to blur around my lip line and that works really well. I have a little bit of lip balm already on from earlier. I'm just gonna go for it. So, so this is the Say Beauty Lip Blur in Dada. So I'm gonna use the lip blur over a little bit of lip balm and I'm just gonna tap it on. I'm not gonna do a lot of rubbing and then when I have a good enough layer, I'll start to go in with my finger and blend it out. So for me, that's like a good amount of product but you can, I mean, you can you can really go full on with this lipstick, but my, my favorite way to apply it is, is more softer and blotted. A blotted lip look is my favorite. It's definitely my favorite way to wear lipstick these days. I wear a lot of lip balms. I wear a lot of soft matte lip products that I kind of blur out and I wear a lot of glossy lipsticks that kind of fade. Very, very rarely been wearing like a full on lipstick. By the way, I haven't tried much from Say. I've only tried a few things, but the lip blurs I really like. I've heard a lot of mixed things about some of their skin products. So I have not decided to pursue that at the moment. I feel like them and Merit are both vying for the Glossier throne. <laughs> so. so this is the finished look. Again, using a few shades from this custom palette that I made. I, have, I realized I actually have done magenta and yellow before, not in a while. And this is a much more elegant version of the look that I did previously, but I have paired these together before <laughs> or paired these kinds of shades before. I just wanted to take a minute to show you how I'm using this custom palette that I built, experimenting with it to see if I like the vibes of it and if I would at some point want to purchase the palette it was based on or not. It's really helpful to experiment. It's also just fun to play around with weird colors sometimes. Like this is not a traditional palette and it's forcing me to try things that I wouldn't normally try. And I think that that's really fun and it kind of gets my creative brain working. So with that, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this quick little look with me. I hope to do more looks with this palette and other custom palettes that I'm working on moving forward. I'm definitely gonna do a like build a palette with me video. I'm probably gonna do a couple of those. So be on the lookout this summer. I have ideas for palettes that we can build together, get you more and more excited about entering the world of singles. I really think once you get into it, you're just gonna fall in love and you're gonna never wanna stop. Again, thank you for watching. Please give this video a like before you leave it and definitely subscribe if you wanna hang out with me in more future videos. There's much, much more coming and I hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.